Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, from the sunny Caribbean, you are watching What You Need. Let me make this abundantly clear. The only fight for this year, other than May Pack, that's going to do some really good numbers, is Canelo Alvarez versus Miga Cotto. Okay? Now, other people want to talk about GGG versus David Lemieux. To be honest with you, I'm not even hyped about that fight. You know, I, I am I'm interested in it. But you see this fight, Miga Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez? My interest is at an all-time high. And the reason my interest is at an all-time high is because both fighters are proven. Both fighters have fought the best fighter ever on the planet to this point in time. And one of them fared exceedingly well with him, and that's Miguel Cotto. But I still can't predict a winner on this fight. And anytime I can't predict a winner on a fight, that means it's going to be a pretty good fight. Okay? It's going to be a crazy fight. We've had a number of fights where we didn't know who was going to win the fight. All right, Anthony Durrell versus James DeGale. I don't know who was going to win. Some people predicted James DeGale was going to win. Good for them. But that, to me, was a 50-50 fight. The only difference was the two knockdowns by James DeGale. You know, I can talk about a number of other fights which lived up to the hype. I mean, it were 50-50 fights. I think this fight is a 50-50 fight. First and foremost, let me describe the two guys going at it. Both are boxer punchers. Now, Canelo Alvarez is more like Floyd Mayweather. He's actually a counter-punching boxer, okay? He's very smart. He's very tricky because he moves his hips. So he moves his upper body through hip movement. He gets into position to line up and land his shots. His footwork is not as quick and um, as active as, say, a Floyd Mayweather. But he makes up for it by his upper body movement, how he moves his upper body. He can box. He can also move quite well. He's very nimble on his feet, very explosive. However, at times in fights, he goes flat-footed, but don't let that fool you for one second. That boy can box. He can box on the back foot. He can box on the front foot. He can box at mid-range. He can box a little bit in the pocket, and he can also pop box on the outside. People don't fully appreciate because they think because Floyd beat him so easily that that means that Canelo Alvarez is a joke. He has very solid defense as well. Uh, he has the roving guard. He has so many different things and different tools, and he's still learning boxing. Canelo Alvarez is just wonderful to watch. I love watching him. And um, the guys he's beaten, I don't have any argument for it. He beat all those guys that he beat. I, I, I've looked at his fights over and over again, and I saw that he beat them. Now, when it comes to Miga Cotto, Miga Cotto has a style, all Miga Cotto's. Nobody else has a style quite like Miga Cotto. It's a very unique style. He has beautiful ways of moving and boxing. He has signature moves that he does. He moves from orthodox to southpaw to line up that left hand to land that power left. He also has a very good overhand right, good power in his right. And he's a good counter puncher as well as he can lead off of either hand. He has a beautiful flexible stance. He is vulnerable to the uppercut if he is all in offensive mode. If he is in defensive mode on the other hand, you're not going to touch him. You can't touch Miko Koto. So... I mean, these are two really wonderful styles. Miga Koto is a boxer, pressure finder, puncher. And that's a very unique combination because he does not get hit that easily. He has some slickness to him. So, I mean, this is a clash of styles that's just going to be very, very interesting. I must say, Puerto Rican fighters are the most diverse and interesting when it comes to styles. From Wilfredo Rivera to Wilfredo Gomez to Felix Trinidad, to uh, Wilfredo Benitez, all of them had their own unique styles of boxing. So, uh, Miguel Cotto is just another in the pantheon of great uh, Puerto Rican boxers. And I want to see how his style will match up with Canelo Alvarez's style. Expect Miguel Cotto to box as well as to box and pressure fight at different points in the fight. He's quicker, he's sharper, he's smaller, he's sleeker. I I'm looking forward to seeing what Miguel Cotto does. I cannot predict a winner for this fight, which is what intrigues me most. Both guys have impressive power, but that's not all. They have great technique and they have great boxing skills. So it's going to be explosive at times, but expect it to be a chess match at times as well. And um, these guys are going to adjust to each other's styles. They're going to look to see what 
plays out well in their chess match. Both guys are thinkers. Both guys are smart in there. Cotto has even gotten smarter over time from facing Floyd Mayweather to facing Manny Pacquiao. He's also smart in negotiating his terms. So I expect the terms to favor Amiga Cotto. In all, in all, at the end of the day, whoever wins this fight gets huge props. And um, even though Miga Koto is a shorter Hall of Famer, I would really like him to win this fight so that he can get ATG status. I believe both fighters have the potential to beat Gennady Golovkin. They have way more as elite fighters to offer in a fight with Gennady Golovkin than any other fighter Gennady Golovkin could face, even though they are smaller. As we all know, size doesn't mean anything and power doesn't mean anything to a certain point. It's really your skills and how you utilize them. And I can tell you both guys are more skilled than Gennady Golovkin. The question is, could they use those skills to beat him because he was going to be the bigger, stronger guy in there with more power? But it doesn't necessarily equate to Gennady Golovkin beating them because it depends on what fight Gennady Golovkin ends up fighting against these guys who I think are far more superior fighters than Gennady Golovkin is. So I'm looking forward to this fight. And you guys, stay tuned. You're going to see more videos on this fight as I start to talk about the accolades and accomplishments of both fighters. You guys have a great one.